But wait a minute. I thought a bunch of y'all city girl, hot girl, boss chicks were out here living y'all's best life. Yeah, I thought you all were getting to the bag in your soft girl luxury life era. And you mean to tell me that all of y'all are broke? Y'all down real bad. Y'all, <laughs> I told y'all so. I had been telling y'all that this day would come to where a lot of those city girls and hot girls and strong independent boss chicks will have no other choice but to finally admit that yes, I'm struggling. Yes, I'm broke. No, I am not living this luxurious lifestyle. No, I do not have all of this money. And you know why they're having to do that now? Because life is right there in their faces, kicking them while they're down. Yes, bills are high and through the roof. Inflation is high and through the roof. And guess what's down? <laughs> I'll tell you. The men that are tricking off. The men that are trying to be sugar daddies. I'll tell you what else is down. The city girls are way down, okay? They don't make it how they used to make it. And so when I'm seeing a bunch of them coming through, crying in their cars, talking about woe is me and how they can't afford to pay their damn rent, I can't help but to think to myself, hmm, I wonder who tried to warn them before all of this happened. Oh, I know it was me. Yeah, I told them that fast life would eventually slow down and come to a complete and screeching halt. And here we are. And you know what's really sad? What's really sad is that a lot of these city girl, hot girl, boss chicks have influenced a lot of the other young ladies coming up behind them to partake in the same lifestyle, the same whole culture, the same fast life. And a lot of them are going to be met with this rude reality check as well. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Let me break this down and get this off before I get into this video. I told y'all very early on that you need not to put all of your eggs into this fast life, whole culture life type of basket because it's short lived. You're not going to have anything really to fall back on like that. Beauty only lasts so long. Sex appeal only lasts so long. And a simp can only sit for so long before it's like, okay, what am I really getting out of this? And that's what we're starting to see. A lot more men are snapping up out of the whole, it ain't tricking if you got it mentality. It's like, yes, it is. Okay. And I need all of my money. I need all of my resources, especially if I'm not even getting anything or much in return for my money and my resources. So let me cut it off. All right. Now, do you still have sugar daddy tricks and all that sure but the number is dwindling down you all and a lot of these hot girls are feeling that all right this is why i tried to warn against it but they didn't want to listen they said that i was setting women back they said that i was pandering to men they said that you know i was promoting struggle love and look at their lives now now your whole life is a struggle with no love and i tried to help you I really did. When I was telling y'all, hey, don't go out here in these streets having a bunch of whole phase and stuff like that. Go and get with you a quality young man and build with him. When I was saying that, that was not to your detriment. I was not trying to set you up for failure. I was actually trying to help you. But again, y'all thought that y'all knew best and look at you now. Even the strippers damn it, are not able to get those big tippers. What is going on? But again, I knew the real. I knew that this day would come. I tried to warn y'all against this, but y'all again thought that everything would work out in your favor. Why? Because you're so beautiful. You're so sexy. You're so smart. It won't happen to you. And it always does. But Let's get into it, y'all. Again, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And let's break this video clip down bit by bit.
life is not fun. I'm not having fun at all. And I decided to lay down like a fucking hot and ready Little Caesars pizza and have two fucking kids. Oh, didn't we tell y'all not to do that? Didn't we tell y'all to be highly selective with the men that y'all lay down with? But oh no, he's so fine. He's so sexy. He's so gangster. Whatever. Y'all just make up things. And then before you know it, boom, you're pregnant by a, a bum. And now you're complaining about how nobody's helping you out with your children and how you're struggling. And again, told you so. Told you to choose better. Told you to get with guys that were marriage-minded, relationship-minded, something. At least care about you enough to stick around and help you raise the children. But y'all don't want to do that. Let me just shut up and continue, y'all. Let's start from the top. I'm sorry for even pausing it so early, but that just pisses me off because y'all keep making the same mistakes over and over again. When will y'all snap up out of it? And read the, the caption, y'all. It says $1,900 for a two-bedroom. She's complaining about rent. And I'm going to be real with y'all. $1,900 should not be something that is breaking you. And I, I, oh, I'm trying to watch what I say, but... It's real in the field, and I got to drive these points home. These women that tried to stand 10 toes down in this whole notion of I'm a boss chick. I'm in my luxury life bag. I'm in my soft girl era. I'm, I'm getting all of this money. These are the women that are complaining about $1,900 rent. And I'm not saying that $1,900 is nothing but it's definitely not something to be in your car crying about and you wouldn't have to be in your car crying about it if you would have gotten with a good quality young man and built with him instead of saying that that struggle love y'all kill me with this y'all would rather pay a hundred percent by yourself struggling all because you want to choose up behind piss poor quality guys to lay down with and procreate with than to get with a man that is of quality that has character substance morals and values principles y'all would rather say oh no i'm not gonna get with him because i'll be damned if i'm paying 50 percent or 20 percent or 10 percent or 30 percent uh-uh Y'all are just backwards and it just, it pisses me off because so many of y'all keep setting yourselves up for failure. And so many of y'all keep promoting this, this bull crap, like it's the gospel. But again, I'm sorry. <laughs> we just got started. Let's get into it. Like the video. Life is not fun. I'm not having fun at all. And I decided to lay down like a fucking hot and ready Little Caesars pizza and have two fucking kids. So I literally can't do nothing to myself. I I have kids. With that being said, housing is the most depressing thing to deal with as a young adult. And if one more of my white friends that I grew up with asks me why my parents can't co-sign, I'm going to slap the shit out of you. We live two different lives. I, my parents cannot co-sign on a loan for a penny. Oh, and here's the thing. If we know that our circumstances are not ideal, right? We don't have the proper help or support systems in place. Why are we not then being extremely mindful and extremely careful about what we do with our lives, about the lifestyles that we partake in and, and engage in? Like if you know that you have no help, no real support, you need to be on your best behavior. Not just laying down with trash guys getting pregnant and then wigging it by yourself. Because we do live different lives. And so if we know that, then we have to do better so that we can fare better in the long term. But let's continue. And y'all like the video. 
With that being said, all the affordable apartments are fucking waitlisted and all the unaffordable apartments are moving ready. Of course, y'all have 147 units ready because y'all are $1,800 for a two fucking bedroom. Nobody's moving into that shit, dude. Again. That's not a lot of money. Like, is it just me? But that's not a lot of money. But it is a lot of money, right? If you are a strong, independent boss chick that is reckless with her womb and you have two kids, maybe that is a lot of money. But again, ladies, young ladies especially, use this as a cautionary tale of what not to do because you don't want to be in a situation to where $1,800 is a lot of money. You don't. You want to get on the right path early on. That way you're not crying in your car about $1,800. So I drove all the way to fucking Villa Rica because I'm willing to humble myself to go as far as I can to get a cheap apartment. And to my knowledge, even though two people I know just fucking moved in, to my fucking knowledge, it's a wait list of 300 fucking people on it. You want to know why it's a wait list of 300 people on it? Because these are two bedrooms, updated appliances, utilities included for $900 fucking dollars. Nobody's moving out. Then the leasing agent was like, lease renewals are coming up for all the people that moved in last year in November. Somebody might move out and there's still 300 people in front of me. You're going to skip all 300 people and come to my fucking application? Fuck it. No. No, I hate being discouraged. No. No, I don't even want the fucking application. And then I go tour these new apartments in Lithia Springs and they're $1,800 plus $100 for the utility package. So $1,900. That's not including rent. It's not including electricity. That's not including schools tuition. That's not including my car. No, and my, my car, no, my car insurance by itself is a thousand. Y'all let me know, like, am I out of touch? Now that's ridiculous for her. We're not going to get into our car situation. But am I out of touch, y'all? Like, or is this chump change? Especially for a city girl, hot girl, boss chick. And she's going to get into what she does in a second. But for a girl like her, like, this should be nothing. This should be a breeze. Y'all handbags are $2,000. Y'all red bottoms are $2,000. You know, y'all's dinner dates. You know what I mean? Like, like, fill me in. Am I missing something? Because on one hand, it's like, I feel you to a certain degree. Like, yes, I understand that it's inflation. Prices are up. Rent is up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then on the flip side, it's like, but that's still not a lot of money. And then on the other side of that, it's like, this definitely should not be a lot of money to you as an ex-worker that is supposed to be living her best life. Like, this is what y'all do. But I told y'all, what did I say earlier? I said, I told y'all that the day would come. And I've said this countless times in previous dope discussions. I've told y'all that the day would come to where they could not hide it anymore. They would have to be honest about what is really going on behind the scenes. And behind the scenes, y'all, they're broke. The ones with the most lavish lifestyles, the most luxury lifestyles, broke AF. Why? Because all of their money is going right back into keeping up appearances. And with the economy being what it is, they have no choice but to just keep it real now and say, yeah, $1,900, that's a lot, okay? $1,800 for rent, that's a lot. They can't help it now. But ladies, this could have been avoided had y'all listened to y'all little big sis right here when I said, hey, get with you a quality young brother, a quality young man, build with him. Combine resources with him, nothing wrong with that. As a matter of fact, if you're dealing with a real solid brother, he'll probably take on the bulk, if not all of the living expenses. So all of your money is just extra money that can go into rainy day accounts, savings accounts, investment accounts, whatever. But y'all didn't want to listen. Again, I was promoting struggle love. Y'all can do bad all by yourself. 
You don't need no man. I can go and be a scripper. I can go and be a bartender. I can go and do OnlyFans. Remember? What I was saying was outdated. Oh, no, girl. We don't got to be submitting to no man. and We ain't got to be working with no man. We can get the bag by ourselves and look at y'all now. Because, again, look, newsflash, ladies. Even the simps ain't simping how they used to. Okay, they not big tipping no more. They're waking up. They're like, hold on, what am I doing? Why am I giving this woman all of my damn money for nothing in exchange? Uh, no, thank you. So the sugar daddies becoming obsolete. Y'all fighting over sugar daddies today. Like it's real in the field and it's gotten so bad that now they have no choice but to finally say, yeah, it is not fun outside in these streets. I know we tried to romanticize it and, you know, say girl power and all of this. And it's my life and I can do what I want. But yeah, this is not what I wanted for my life. I need help. I'm struggling. And I bet a bunch of y'all out there right now today wish you would have listened to your little big sis when I said get with a man and build with a man. Collaborate effectively as a team with a man. I, I bet y'all wish I would have did that now. Because how many men out here, especially ones who have their heads on right, they got their money together, how many of them are going to want to come into this young lady's life with two children? She's clearly broke, you know, assisting her. No, he would collapse trying to hold her up and her two kids. So a lot of y'all are fumbling and life is really humbling, y'all. And I can't even really say I feel sorry for you because I tried to warn you and you said that I was a pick me. Well, now you're a broke me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so broke. I'm so broke. Help me. Yeah. I'd rather be a pig me, a picked me than a broke me any day. So, I mean, it is what it is. And y'all, again, let me know, am I out of touch? Or is this not a lot of money that she's complaining about? And these are the same chicks, once again, talking about how they get into the bag. They boss chicks. They independent. They got their own. They, they talk a real good game on, on social media. They show only the highlight reels on social media. But this is what it's always been. It's just that now they cannot keep up the appearances how they used to. They can't keep up the facade. The mask has fallen. It's like, yeah, this, nah. I'm not balling. I'm not rich. I need help. But y'all let me know. Is this a lot of money to y'all? Because uh, no, I, I, I don't know. Let's continue, though. I know I saw my life. I, I signed the worst. I signed death row on that. I know that you don't have to tell me. I know that. Mm. And it don't matter how much money I make. It don't matter how many nights I'm in a strip club. It don't matter if I pick up a part time, second time. It don't fucking matter. It never feels like enough money. Did y'all hear her? She said, it don't matter how many nights I'm at the script club. It don't matter how many part-time jobs I work. It's not enough money. It's never enough money. It ain't. <laughs> and unfortunately, it won't be. Look at her. Come on, y'all. And when you look at her and she's like, oh, my God, this is a lie. I'm struggling. I'm suffering. What did I get myself into? When y'all look at her, I need y'all to picture the baddest IG model, the baddest OF model. This is all of them. She, unfortunately, is just in a tight situation to where she has no choice but to just go ahead and air it all out. But best believe me when I tell y'all. That a lot of these chicks are just like how she is right now. But on social media, she's giving you the glitz and glam. That's what it is. And again, ladies, you didn't have to do this. You could have been in very stable situations with very productive, providing, protecting, leading, teaching young men. But y'all thought... That the city girl, hot girl life was best for you. Y'all wanted to dominate whole culture. Well, this is whole culture. Crying in your car. Talking about how rent is too high. 
It is real in the field, ladies. Snap up out of it. Wake up before it's too late. Because for a lot of y'all, unfortunately, it is. I just want to prevent other young ladies from following down the same path to nowhere, thinking that the outcome is going to be different for them. It won't. If you pick piss poor quality men to lay down with and procreate with, you'll be crying in your car too, talking about how $1,900 is too much. If you choose the script life, the ex work life over being a righteous, wise, intelligent, moral young lady. I don't even know if that's a word, but we're going to make it up today so y'all can have some damn morals in y'all life. OK, then this is your path. You're going to be struggling. You're going to be broke. You're going to be hoping, wishing and praying that you would have did life differently. Talking about how, yeah, life is hard. You don't want this. But I thought I would come on here, you all, and use this young lady as a cautionary tale of what not to do, what not to be. And to also, once again, tell y'all, I told y'all so. While y'all was saying that I was a pick me and I was pandering and I was promoting struggle love. Well, what do you call this? Is this not a struggle to y'all? Is this not a cry out to be picked and helped? I don't know. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts, opinions, and feedback about this down below. I look forward to seeing what you got to say. And yeah, don't be like this. It's real in the field. The streets are not nice. They don't love you. And they will chew you up and spit you out with the bones included and have you really looking stupid. And on that note, much love and peace to my crown heads. I'll catch y'all in the next dope discussion.